You know, the GST is actually straightforward, generally straightforward for you and I as a regular consumer. We see the tax on our bill on invoice when we pay for our goods and services, right? But that's not always the case for businesses. Hi, I'm Ko Su Hao. I'm the PwC Asia Pacific Indirect Taxes Leader. You're watching Let's Get Real About GST for Businesses. Now, needless to say, tax authorities like the IRS have always taken fraud very seriously. Now, against the backdrop, of growing social expenditure and dipping profitability, tax authorities are increasing their focus on collecting the right amount of tax dollars and making sure that businesses are paying the right amount of tax. You know, the GST system actually is very simple in concept, yet it can be complex for companies to navigate. There are significant regulations surrounding the GST, such as what is subject or not subject to GST, what evidence do you need to be able to zero rate your export transactions? And when do you charge GST on your recovery expenses, etc.? Now, with increasing tax compliance requirements and scrutiny, business models are becoming more complex, and this creates more blind spots and pitfalls which businesses will fall into if they're not informed and well equipped. Well, the self assessment nature of the GST means that the onus is actually on the business to correctly apply the tax rules. But the challenge, however, is that this responsibility is often left to one or two persons in the finance department of the organization. Although, when you think about it, the GSE permeates all aspects of the business, from procurement to sales, from human resources to marketing. And this exposes the company to the risk of incorrectly applying the GSE rules, making them prone to errors. Now, at the same time, it's also important to note that tax authorities actually find a challenge to clearly distinguish between genuine mistakes in the GSC returns and a sign of a wider fraud. The customer accounting rules that were implemented from this year is one of the ways where the IRAS is trying to deter GSC fraud. So, what can we learn from this? Well, if you are in business, don't get caught in the crossfire. Take a hard look at your tax risk management strategy, your governance framework and controls to ensure that you report the right amount of tax. I mean, get expert advice on whether your systems and processes are robust enough to address all possible tax risks and move this up your priority list before any unintentional errors or mistakes come back and bite you. Thank you for watching PwC's Let's Get Real. Like us if you found this insightful and informative.